What if I told you that the San Francisco 49ers could draft a future Hall of Famer, a game-changing safety, and a versatile offensive lineman with their three third-round picks? Sounds crazy, right? Well, it's not impossible. In fact, it's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Today, we're going to dive into the 49ers mock draft madness. The 49ers are one of the most intriguing teams in the 2023 NFL draft, as they don't have a first or second round pick, but they have three picks in the third round. What will they do with those picks? Who will they target? And how will they improve their roster for another Super Bowl run? In this video, I'm going to reveal the five draw dropping picks that will make you say, wow. These aren't going to be your typical boring mock draft picks. These are bold, creative, and surprising moves that the 49ers can make that would pay off big time. So buckle up and get ready for some mock draft madness. Let's get started with pick number 99. Pick number 99, Byron Jones, edge rusher from Tennessee. The 49ers are about to shock the whole entire world with this pick. Young is a beast who ran a blazing 4.43 40 yard dash at his pro J. That's faster than some wide receivers and running backs in this draft class. He has the length, motor, and hand usage to terrorize quarterbacks and stuff running backs. He has a variety of moves to beat his blockers such as speed rushes, bull rushes, spins, and rips. He also has good bend and flexibility to take the corner and finish plays. He would fit perfectly in the 49ers scheme and learn from Nick Bosa and also last year rookie pick Drake Jackson. Young had a whopping 12 and a half sacks in his first two seasons at Tennessee and he could end up being the next great pass rusher in the NFL. He reminds me of a young Chandler Jones with his size, speed, Pick number 101, Jamie Robinson, safety from Florida State. The 49ers have a huge hole in safety after this upcoming season. They have to Sean Gibson, but that's only for one year. And they also have Talano Hufunga, who may end up being an all-pro safety for the remainder of his career, and I sure hope so. Robinson, though, is a versatile and physical defender who can play anywhere in the secondary. He can cover slot wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs as well as blitz and support the run. He has good instincts and awareness and coverage. He can make plays on the ball. He had four interceptions and 13 breakups in his college career. He plays with a nasty demeanor and high football intelligence. He's not afraid to hit hard and he can force fumbles and use his punch technique. He would pair rail with Hufunga and give the Ford Niners more swagger in their defensive backfield. He reminds me of young Tyron Matthews with his versatility and playmaking ability, as well as his attitude. Pick number 102, Blake Freeland, offensive tackle from BYU. The 49ers lost their starting right tackle, Mike McGlinchey, to the Broncos in free agency. And they need to find his replacement, and quick. Freeland is a former basketball player who has amazing athleticism and footwork for his size. He played left tackle at BYU, but he could switch over to the right side and find it into the 49ers zone blocking scheme. He has a good arm length and balance to handle speed rushers and he can also get to the second level and block linebackers. He has good hand placement and leverage to control defenders and he can also anchor well against power rushers. He needs some refinement in his technique and strength but he has a ton of upside and potential. He reminds me of a young David Bakhtiari and his athleticism footwork and pass protection skills. With pick number 155, the San Francisco 49ers should select Daryl Luther Jr. He's a cornerback from South Alabama. The 49ers are actually in pretty decent shape at cornerback, with their starters being Demo Lenore and also Ward. But they could use some more depth and competition at the position. Luther Jr. is a small school prospect who has good size, speed, and ball skills. He ran a lightning fast. 4.38 40 yard dash as pro day and he had seven interceptions in his college career he can play outside or inside and he has good instincts and awareness and coverage he can read quarterbacks eyes and jump routes for big plays he can also press or play off coverage and he has good recovery speed if he gets beat deep he needs to work on his tackling and physicality but he could be a gym in this draft he reminds me of young Asante Samuel with his size, speed, and ball hawking ability. Pick number 164. The San Francisco 49ers should select Sam Laporta, tight end from Iowa. 
The 49ers have one of the best tight ends in the league in George Kittle, but they could use another weapon at the position to complement him. Laporta is a reliable pass catcher who has good hands, route running, and body control. He can line up or split out wide and he can create mismatches with his size and athleticism. He had a total of 44 catches for 642 yards and 4 touchdowns last season at Iowa. He can run off all kinds of routes such as slants, outs, seams, posts, corners, etc. He can also adjust to off-target throws and make contested catches in traffic. He needs to improve his blocking and strength, but he could be a valuable addition to the 49ers offense for the long term. And I'm going to wrap this mock draft up with one surprise pick, and that's going to be called the Brock Purdy pick with the San Francisco 49ers final selection. In round 7, pick 255, they should select Clayton Toon from Houston. Toon was a highly productive passer for the Cougars, throwing for 11 1,994 yards and 104 touchdowns throughout his career. He led Houston to a 12-2 record and an AAC championship appearance in 2021 and was named the conference's Offensive Player of the Year. Toon is a timing-based and rhythmic passer who can process quickly for up-tempo attacks. He has a strong arm and can make all the throws, especially deep passes and one outside the numbers. He is a mobile quarterback and can create outside of structure. He's similar to Brock Purdy in the way that how long he's played and maybe he could fill in the Brock Purdy type role for the 49ers. I just think that you can never have enough quarterbacks if you're a football team. And taking a flyer each year really isn't that bad of an idea considering this pick usually doesn't even make the roster anyways. And the 49ers have had a history of injuring quarterbacks under Kyle Shanahan. They've only had one season where their quarterbacks have remained completely healthy, and that was during their Super Bowl run under Jimmy Garoppolo. So if you're able to insulate your quarterback room as much as possible, then hopefully that mitigates some of the risk of changing quarterbacks midseason, which has been customary for the 49ers these last couple of years. That's it for my mock draft madness video i hope you're blown away by these picks these are the picks that will make the 49ers unstoppable next season these are the picks that will make the rest of the nfl tremble in fear these are the picks that will make you say wow and do you agree or disagree with my picks let me know in the comment section down below also don't forget to smash that like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching WISE, where we talk about everything San Francisco 49ers related. See you next time.